Looked like a thick female. Apparently, that's what he was telling me. Apparently, that's what he was telling me. He said, look like me. He said, yeah, they got booty. But it's like a BBL. The thighs don't match. I laughed, y'all. I died. I gagged the fuck out of everything. Like, when I, like, bitch, uh, I gagged. I was like, so what's different about me? He said, your thighs thick. Your booty cheeks so thick. He, and, and, and he said, so thick, y'all. I knew he was for real. He said, your thighs thick. Your booty cheeks so thick. <laughs> he just kept saying thick. <laughs> He just kept ending no t shirt, no t no shade. Every time I, I walked away, he'd be surprised, and I always catch him doing this. Like he could not believe that I'm this thick without a stomach or anything. You know what I'm saying? Or anything. Like, can okay, come to Minnesota? I need my hair done. Oh, that's a stretch, baby. I got to get on a plane and all of that. I that's a trap. Now that's what we call a traveling fee. Any of my traveling fees are 380, Buki. 380 off the whim, and that's not included with your hair. That's not included in your hair, but 380, which I might as well save 400 because it's the $20 deductible. I mean, the $20 deposit that I always do for clients, I don't charge all that deposit shit. So I might as well say $400 travel fee. <clears throat> booty thick, hair long, and long, clear skin. You a whole package. Of course I am, baby. Thank you for um, admiring that, though. And my money is getting, my money is getting there. We're, we're getting there. I work my ass off. That's, that's what you can put in the replace of that. I work my ass off. Skin definitely clear. <laughs> you ain't lie about that one, booky butts. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lied about that one, Buki. Skin is clear, baby. Who? Clear. Mm -hmm. You be glowing when you talk about him. I mean, yeah. What's it to you? Ooh, look at the blinds, honey. That smells so good. I just smell my wind. I took a bath in that new shit I got. That smells so good. Every time I move my whole armor, it was something like that. I smell myself. It smells so damn good. That nigga smelled my nutsack, y'all. That nigga smelled my nutsacks. He said, you smell so good. I said, damn, get your nose out of there. Get your nose out of there. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna be able to, oh, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get this man off of me once I let him put that thing on me. Bitch, I fuck around, go crazy over him. Oh my God, what did I do, kid? What did you do, nigga? What did you do, nigga? Oh! Woo! <laughs> that bitch. You a little whore dog. <laughs> if you only knew, baby, I ain't gonna lie. I be trying to feel. I be trying to feel like a saint. I be trying to feel like a saint, but in reality, y'all, I am a slut buggy. I am a whore dog, and it's only for the for the person that I'm really gonna be with. No say I will be a hoe for you. I slut me the slut me out. Like slut me the fuck out. Like I'm talking about, do me down bad. Slut me out. And no shade, I ain't never been like that. But baby, I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's like every time, ever since I done turned twenty six, baby, 
I don't know what's been coming up with me. I've been feeling like this for the last three months. I've been feeling extra freaky, extra like, thou, you know what I'm saying? Like, like just some, some extra shit on me. Like, God damn, like what's going on? I don't even know what the fuck going on. It's like something just sprinkled over me and now I'm just extra like, Well, I don't know what's going on. Extra freaky, Kenzie. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. It's just like, hold on. Why am I having my face? Mug superior. Oh, because I'm blind. So it's just like, I don't know, y'all. Like, what it give? Because I be trying to, for real deal, I don't know. I be I be trying to give it, like, the little sentiment, the little sentiment shit. Like, you know, like, don't fuck around. Don't have sex. Don't do none of that. <sighs> Baby, the way that man did me tonight. And we didn't even fuck, Lord. Oh! I had a flashback. We didn't even fuck, and it was so amazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh my God, it was so amazing. That man sucked on me from every inch of my motherfucking body. That nigga nose was on my nutsack, man. He fit. Oh my God, he rubbed my booty hole. Y'all, I have never. I have never in my life let a nigga take advantage of me. I haven't. If I'm gonna be totally honest. I have never let a nigga take advantage of me. I let that nigga put two fingers somewhere. I've never thought two fingers could go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. My Lord, that man bought a room, a two hundred and some dollar room for a fucking hour. A two hundred and some dollar room for an hour. I said, boy, <laughs> you try to motherfucking make me marry you, bitch. He said, hey, I ain't even going to play with you. When I call your phone, you answer that bitch. I said, damn. I said, I said, you do know I'm aggressive. I'm a fighter. Like, I'm clingy. He said, I don't give a fuck. He said, I'm the type of nigga, when you go pee, I'm right behind you. I'm right there with you while you pissing. I said, oh, maybe that kind of threw me off a little bit. He was going to kill me. Oh, I'm a Capricorn, though, baby. You gotta remember, I'm a Capricorn. I like that shit, but hold on, man. If he trade, he's a pansexual. So basically, he's a straight man, just just willing to fucking try. He make you feel like Clint. Yes, bitch. Tiffany, Tiffany, you said the right shit. Okay, are you gay? Because you just gave LGBTQ, bitch. You you just gave the community. You 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 just gave me that girl. That's toxic behavior. Can't be careful. I oh I said it, bitch. I said it. He said I don't give a fuck about your feelings. No, I'm just <laughs> I'm just playing y'all. But the way that oh the way he said the bitch it made me tremble, ch shake, and admire everything he said. I was just like. He said, when you go piss, I'm going to be right there. I said, oh. <laughs> I said, oh. Like, you can, hit, you, can, you, you can hear it. I said, oh. And he looked at me. Bitch, I had to look cross-sided for a little minute. I kept throwing him off. <laughs> Throw him off a little bit. Bitch, you going to do what? <laughs> you going to do what? Bitch, you going to be right here while I'm pissing. Oh my God, sir. <laughs>
Sir! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Sir! Made me str- Oh my soul, bitch. I, need, I had to really think about it. Okay. Ken, what are you getting yourself into? Because if you let this man inside you, all hell is broken loose. He got the keys. I vow to myself never to let men inside of me because I can be submissive as fuck and would do anything you say. So it's kind of, it's kind of, it's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? I got to hold that barrier. I'm, I'm, I might as well call me pansexual as well. I like bitches. I like niggas. But I know how to play my role when it comes down to those different categories. You feel me? If I'm with a bitch, it's no gay coming out of me at all. But if I'm with a nigga, I will be submissive as fuck. And I'm afraid I'm afraid when I let this man inside me, like I did Marvin. I let Marvin put his fucking hands on me. Y'all know I don't let no bitch put their hands on me. I let Marvin put his hands on me and put a scratch on my fucking face. I let that man take my truck to St. Louis when I was still in Nashville. I let that man drive my motherfucking car all the way to motherfucking St. Louis. <sighs> and I'm just scared because I'm like, God damn. I ain't trying to be submissive to the wrong nigga. He become abusive. Lord Jesus, I don't need that. Because I ain't going to lie. That man love choking me. Why does he love choking me? He really does. Like, y'all, I, I, I ain't even going to lie. I was turned on a little bit because I'm like, a, a little, um, I, I'm, I'm exotic. You know what I'm saying? I'm exotic. And it's like, he was doing some crazy ass shit. And an exotic bitch like crazy shit. And I'm just over here like, damn, this nigga turning me on but scaring me at the same time. This nigga keep grabbing my my motherfucking thing. I didn't grab my silk press. I'd probably duke high duking his ass in his motherfucking face. Bitch kept grabbing my motherfucking arm. The last time he grabbed a bitch, the last time he did, he beat the shit out my nipple, bitch. I had to grab by his dress, say, damn, hold up. That bitch could grab me by my motherfucking throat, bitch. For a couple of a few seconds, bitch, I had to <laughs> Bitch, don't you see a gas paper? Let me the fuck go. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> let me the fuck go, bitch. Like, damn. Hands around neck. Damn. And then I was so confused, y'all, because I was kind of I was kind of in my in my feelings. Not on the first date, though. Oh no, no, no. This is not our first date. She said not on the first date. You are exotic, Kenzie. Eccentric. So, it's not our first date, but y'all, it felt like it was our first fucking honeymoon, bitch. That's what it felt like. And you right, bitch. It ain't our first date, but bitch, we don't fucking... Girl, I'm glad I did not let him fuck. Oh, my God. 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 The power that I have... Behind a nigga like that, I'm gonna make him go crazy. I don't got. I need my. I might need to think. My. I might need. No, cause I'm really. I'm really. I no. All jokes aside, y'all. I really am analyzing all this shit for real. That man is crazy. That man is crazy, baby. I might have to tell him we're gonna slow shit down, boo. Oh Lord Jesus, and then oh Jesus, oh my God. That man is crazy. I ain't even gonna lie. He kept chucking. He said. I'm going to be abusing you. You like that aggressive ass shit. I'm going to be abusing you. At first, I thought it was a key when he said it. But the bitch then bit my nipple and grabbed me by my throat. Why he was telling me this. He said, you like that aggressive shit, don't you? He said, come here. Come here. Kiss me. I said, Just like that, he kissed him, and then he grabbed me by my lips with his fucking teeth. And I just could not believe what I was going through at the moment. I felt like I was just his. There was nothing that I could do. I felt like I was just his. Like, do fuck it, do whatever, do whatever. I was just like, fuck it, do whatever. (coughs) 
he said, he said, he, because I had, he didn't know how I was, but I was, I was laying like this, and the nigga fucking did my leg like this. He said, God damn. He said, you flexible as fuck. I said, yeah. <laughs> I said, yeah. I'll be sounding like a bitch when I'm on. I don't like that. I don't like that. Because, bitch, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'll be sounding like a bitch for real. Like, God damn. Nigga, what that testosterone? What them nuts at? I'll be thinking, I'll be, oh, my. I don't know. But I can't let a nigga do me like that because I'm very submissive. Like, I'm yours. Do whatever. You can take me down through that. I don't care. I'll do whatever. Punch me, smack me, nigga can drive me down the road. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just bullshitting, y'all. I'm bullshitting. I'm playing. I ain't never been like that. A nigga put his hands on me, baby. I promise to God my brother gonna see him, bitch. And that's no shade. <laughs> I promise to God, girl, my cousin's gonna see that nigga. You crazy. <laughs> I ain't even gonna play with the bitch myself. He said, I'm gonna press charges on you because I showed him the fight with me and Shamar and Tyra. He said, oh, I knew I recognized you. But he seen that fight after I showed him. He was like, I seen it. He said, oh, I'm gonna press charges on you because you ask asking fight. I said, no, well, you don't gotta think about it. I said, you a big boy, you can handle it. He said, no, you can fight. He said, I'm gonna press charges on you. I said, oh my God. <laughs> I said, y'all, I couldn't do nothing but laugh because, bitch, it was so true. He said, I'm going to press charges on you. I said, you're a big boy. You can handle it. He said, no, you can fight. Baby, that strong, that T was strong as hell in that motherfucking, uh, uh, was strong as hell on the, uh, fight. You go, Jonathan, you did that, Bob, so nice. You need to come to Miami to do hair for a few days. Um, Ludi, baby. Is this an invitation? I don't mind. What's going on, sweetheart? I'm all about a coin. I don't mind, Barb. No, I don't mind, Barbs. No, I can't say Barbs. Dolls. I don't mind. I don't mind, dolls. I'm going to get copyrighted sued by a motherfucking Nikki. I don't mind, dolls. I can't call y'all Barbs. I forgot. All right, dolls. Dollies. Doll babies. <laughs> All right, dolls. Um, but yeah, back to the story. Y'all, so I had I was like kinda y'all can hear me right. I don't wanna feel like I'm talking down to y'all ear. Y'all, um, I had a little bit of a, a problem because let me get my little kindy voice on. So I had a little bit of a problem because this man was treating me like I was his doll. Like he was kept grabbing me by my throat. He just kept on grabbing me by my my fucking titties, kept sucking on my nipples, and kept telling me I'm not going nowhere. It was crazy. It was real crazy. Yeah. Mm hmm. Real crazy. I would definitely book an appointment, and I sent it to my friends. They were shocked when I said you just started taking hair serious. Ludi, are you serious? Ludi, are you playing with me right now? Are you serious, boo? If you did that, I want to say thank you, Queen. Thank you so much for promoting me and and um. Yeah, thank you. That was actually very heartwarming. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. I'm not trying to get mushy, but thank you. I got a, um, 